It's always a privilege and an honor when we come to this time of the year. Um, and also just a little bit sad because the, um, this marks 11 people up here. It's the last time that I'll be able to conduct them in a, in a band concert. So I just want to tell I just want to tell my seniors that I appreciate all your hard work. Um, not just that, but um, friendships that I've developed with a lot of you. I really appreciate that. I've had some of you for for six and even seven years, and so um, you can't you can't be around someone that long and not form some sort of connection. And I appreciate um, you guys allowing me to to share uh, their their years with, with allowing me to share my time with them as um, we've grown in musicianship, and hopefully they've been able to take away something from this program that they'll be able to use for the rest of their life. The things that we teach are not in the textbook. Tenacity, goal setting, all types of things. Reaching for something that's greater than you, all right? Teamwork. It's not something that you can learn out of the textbook. That's not to say the textbooks are bad, because we need that as well. But I, I, I love what we do here, and um, I love it when uh, people come back. You know, they've been in band before they come back and just... Hey, Mr. Lee, how's it going? And usually they can tell me how many um, or how appreciative they are. They've learned the B flat scale or anything like that. They're, they're usually come up and hug me and just tell me they were just glad that I was there for them. And so I just want to say to all the seniors, you made it. We love you. And here we go. All right. So we're going to call them up here one by one. Again, it's entirely appropriate. We're going to take a picture of your graduating senior. You're welcome to come up here and snap a shot. And then we'll have a group shot here at the end. We're going to kind of do this like we did at the band bank, but I'm just going to read their names, their parents' names, and then some accomplishments and achievements and maybe some of the goals that they have, all right? First senior that we have is Miss Jenna Atkins. <laughs> and Mrs. Haley and Mr. Johnson are going to kind of help us out here. Jenna is the daughter of Jody and Billy Ray Atkins. She is a four-time white card recipient and star program. She's been accepted to JSU, UAH, Troy, and the University of Alabama. She's been a member of the Link Crew for two years. She's the wholesome reporter and historian. Uh, it also says that she survived her section for four years. She's planning on attending Jacksonville State University with production, with, and her college major is in production with a minor in film. She's received the Gamecock grant for $1,000 other scholarships that have not been announced yet, $44,165 in other various grants. Jenna Atkins. <laughs> Mr. Liam Butler. <laughs> Liam is the son of Rhett and Erica Butler. Oh, I'm sorry. Liam is the son of Rhett and Erica Butler. He's planning on attending Northeast Community College, where he's going to major in web design. Um, and he has received a Northeast Instrumental Scholarship. This is Liam Butler. <laughs> Cole Morgan Casey. <laughs> Cole is the son of Alan Casey and Jennifer Hummel. His achievements, first place pumpkin carving at North. East Alabama Community College, staying with my goofy section and meeting all the great people I'm glad to call my friends. He's planning on attending the University of Montevallo, where he's going to major in fine art with a minor in music. He's received the Montevallo Band Scholarship, um, and you've received a few more things since then, haven't you? Okay, and so things that he's not listed, but it also says he'll take anything else he can get. This is Cole Casey. Next we have Cameron Gardner. Cameron is the son of Holly Hammonds and Chad Gardner. His achievements, 4-H club at North Jackson as well as Bay Club, um, star program here at the high school for two years, accepted to both JSU and the University of Alabama, most improved his 10th grade year in band, section leader in 10th grade year with low brass at North Jackson. He's planning on attending the University of Alabama, where he'll major in pre-med. He's received the following scholarships. The Crimson, Crimson, Crimson Achievement Scholarship for $12,000. Um, what does that say? A&S Scholarship for $3,000. The Pell Grant for $6,000 a year. The J. Allen Lee Memorial Scholarship for $7,000. The Tuck Waller Opportunity Scholarship for $14,000. Cameron Gardner. Very good. Cody Gross. Cody is the son of 
Carissa Barak and Kim Gross. Um, his achievements is completion of Kim 2 and AP Kim. He's an all-time all -time Gold Star recipient for seven times, current AP literature student. Um, if he's not, he just took his literature test, his AP exam, or will be taking it. Five-year marching band member, current Top Cats member, but the 20,000-gallon koi pond in which we keep up to 64 koi fish at, at a time. Um, he's planning on attending Jacksonville State University, where he will major in nuclear engineering or chemical engineering. He's received the Gamecock Pride Scholarship. So far, that's all he's got. All right, that's Cody Gross. <laughs> Macy Marlowe. Macy is the daughter of Nina Marlowe and Donnie Marlowe. Her achievements, she survived four years of band camp, received the most, received the most approved award her freshman year. I must say she has one of the greatest smiles I've ever seen. Um, she's planning on attending Northeast Alabama Community College where she's going to major as a dental hygienist. Macy Marlowe. Mara Deanne Marlowe. Her achievements, five-year marching band, three years of steel drums, five years of jazz band, NHS member with over 18 hours of service, Inc. club member, youth leader at Grace Baptist Church, has completed over 50 hours of dual enrollment classes, will have completed her associate's transfer by the end of summer. Um, Seven-time white card recipient, can eat a pound of mashed potatoes. <laughs> She's planning on attending Jacksonville State University or the University of Alabama, hopefully to march in the fall. Um, she's going to major in psychology. Will be a counselor to help those with adolescents to help with adolescents with mental health issues. She received the JSU Gatecock Traditional Scholarship for eight thousand dollars, one thousand dollar jazz band scholarship, five hundred dollar concert band scholarship. For UNA, she's received the ANS Opportunity Scholarship for one thousand five hundred dollars, the Charles and Zuma James Scholarship for one thousand, and the UA Legend Scholarship for two thousand dollars. Mara Marlo. Kinley Reese. <laughs> McKinley is the son of Dr. Mark and Lisa Reese. His achievements, SHS marching band for seven years, jazz band for seven years, rock band for four years, still drums for one year, low brass section leader his sophomore and junior year, band captain his senior year, selected for district honor band as well as the Alabama All-State Band his junior year. His junior year. He's planning on attending Northeast Alabama Community College and then transferring to Auburn University, where he'll major in chemical engineering with pre-medicine specialization. He's received an instrumental music scholarship with two, full tuition to Northeast McKinley Reese. <laughs> Jacob Simmons. <laughs> Jacob is the son of Jennifer and Michael Simmons. He's a member of the Mu Alpha Theta National Math and Honor Society, a member of the ACT 30 Plus Club with a 33 composite score, seven times star student, senior chemistry lab assistant, and a member of the SHS Science Club. He's planning on attending Auburn University where he major in chemical engineering. He's received the Auburn University Presidential Scholarship full tuition for four years. Also, the Auburn University Chemical Engineering Scholarship, $1,000 for every, every year for four years. Jacob Simmons. <laughs> Andrew Wallingsford. <laughs> Andrew is the son of Stacy Wallingsford and Mike Wallingsford. Let me read this how you put this. Stacy Wallingsford, mom. Mike Wallingsford, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Achievements, low brass section leader in his senior year, loading group captain in three or four, three or four years, yes, it's his name. Um, solo and ensemble superior freshman and sophomore year FFA mechanic team, offered membership by the National Society of High School Scholars, A's and B's, all the way through high school. Uh, his other achievement is that he's not dead yet. Um, he's planning on attending Northeast Community College with a major in nursing. Um, his scholarships. $16,000 rural scholarship for Shorter University, 
and $2,000 is Live on Campus Scholarship. This is Andrew Bollingsworth. back to their seats. We've got one more number that we want to play for you. Um, I think you will notice right away it's extremely long work. It's actually 13 minutes um, called March Slav. March Slav was transcribed for band, but it's actually an orchestral work written mainly for strings. And so you're going to see a lot of te technical expertise from our woodwind section. Um, it's Again, it's very demanding. Demanding on our brass and um, I think I've only done this, this song one other time as well. I want to go ahead before, before we get to the end, because I know people will be leaving. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that's been a part of our band program this year. Our boosters, I want to say thank you. Those of you that have worked tirelessly in our concession stands in 125 degree heat, um, serving um, popcorn and hot dogs and hamburgers with a smile on your face. Thank you. We can't do this without you. Um, and just, just for your kids in general, but I, and again, this is all I know, band kids are the best kids there are, all right? Um, that, that's, that's just the bottom line, so I, I, just, I just want to say thank you, all right? And, um, and, and we, we, we hope we haven't messed them up too bad for you, all right? This is our final piece called Marty Slaw. Please enjoy it. Also, Mr. Paradise, very glad to have you here, sir. Thank you.